It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before- Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Thanks, Kenny. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah? Well, I don't see you working on that wall. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. I didn't have enough for everybody. I thought you could handle yourself. Whatever. Lily has a point about these new people being extra mouths to feed. I know, but maybe the problem isn't that there isn't any food, they're just isn't any here. We gotta think about moving on. Let's hope things turn for the better. Soon. Now there's a statement I can get behind.